In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at what I affectionately call the Megacade. How I took elements I already had in my house and home arcade items that you can pick up on the cheap to build your very own Megacade that's both cost effective and easy to use. Hello friends, it's me, it's me. It's Michael B. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you about my Megacade build. How I took elements from a very expensive arcade and actually built it myself at home on the cheap and super easy to use. But before we get into that, I want to say thank you so much, everybody, for checking out the video. Guys, I always appreciate the support. If this is your first time to the channel and you like what you see, go ahead, subscribe. Click the bell for notification. All that YouTube jazz. Now I want to take you guys back to the Chicago Pinball Expo. I got a chance to visit and interview a company called Retrocade Custom Built Arcade Cabinets. And I have to tell you, I left there absolutely falling in love with the products they had in place. I left saying I need a Megacade in my life. So that's right guys, I got home and I, I just couldn't get the Megacade out of my mind and I was trying to figure out why. I mean, I've never been a big multi-cade guy, but there was just something that drew me to these Megacades. And I'm going to be honest with you, it was the size of the screen. I mean, uh, what Josh told me was the screen was roughly around 37, 38 inches of usable play field in the 40, uh, 4 by 3 screen ratio. And I just couldn't get over how friggin' cool that actually was. So I, I decided I really wanted these for myself, one of these for myself. But the problem was... I didn't really have $7,000, which is the start of what one of these go for. And I question, well, what are the m key components I really like about this arcade? And can I do something on the cheap at home to get me through until I get around to actually picking one of these up? So realistically, I got home and I said, you know what? This reminds me of something I already have, and that was... The Legends Gamer Pro. I mean, this device is an arcade control panel that allows me to play on a TV screen. And heck, I got a 55-inch TV screen right in my office right now. Why not combine the two to make my own version of the Megacade on the cheap? So guys, that's exactly what I did. I took my Legends Gamer Pro and I hooked it back up to the 55-inch TV. Of course, there's some other key elements that are in place here. You will notice the Legends Gamer Pro isn't just resting in the free ear here. It's actually on a buy stuff pedestal that I already had. So I had a pedestal system that could go in front of the TV. The next thing about the TV is my TV was put a little bit high in the office. I had to lower it so it was roughly around this, you know, size and space of a regular arcade or a mega cade so i lowered it on the wall where it would rest slightly above the arcade control panel and bob's your uncle I had a mega cade now personally you can use the core puck that comes with the legends gamer pro but i have a bunch of these and i actually have the upgraded model which is the legends core max so i decided i was going to use that because it already has the internal memory so i can put stuff on that which we'll come to in a minute and just plug in a USB stick so I can play all my OOS files. The problem was my OOS files were attached to a CoinOps X build, and when I went in, CoinOps was delisted, so I couldn't bring CoinOps up on the device because I never downloaded it before. So when I went to play some of the games, they weren't working. Luckily, that was a mistake on that game's part. They actually put CoinOps X back in the uh, At Games eStore or, uh, you know, so CoinOps X is a tile that you can go into again. I was able to re-download it, launch it, and now I'm playing directly through CoinOps X. Me personally, this is my 
favorite uh, over like user interface to use when playing arcade games. I love the way that it works with the At Games devices. So so happy to have it back, and so happy all my games in this build work like they do. One of the cool things about CoinOpsX is the fact that the games aren't just in there, but they're already preloaded to work with the At Games Gamer Pro, the control panel, so there's no messing around. It's a very easy build-up. This comes for playing games like Robotron, the Twin Sticks are already programmed, and games like Centipede, everything's programmed to the trackball already, instead of you having to figure out anything after the fact. Now again, the key component for me was playing on that giant screen, seeing those arcade games in the 4x3 aspect ratio, on a giant screen, I actually have a 55 inch Samsung TV that, you know, it's just been in my office forever. It used to be my main gaming TV until I upgraded to a 65 inch 4K TV. So I'm using this one and with at Games Legends Core Max and Coin Ops running, the game field in the 4x3 aspect ratio here is roughly around 41 to 43 inches, depending on which game you're playing, because they have different screen sizes, but the actual 4x3 aspect ratio, 41 to 43. So I'm very happy with how everything looks. Now, of course, that wasn't one of the only key components. I felt like something was missing from this build. Something just didn't feel right, and, and I realized I didn't like the sound coming from the stock speakers on the television. Obviously, these Retrocade builds have a much better sound system, and I remember Josh even telling me that some of the more high-end cabinets even have subwoofers. So I, I said to myself, how am I going to replicate that, especially without having to wire something up or figure something out? And the answer was simple. I got an old sound bar that I have connected to my TV at the cabin that I never use. So I stole the sound bar, brought it back, connected it to this TV, including the subwoofer, and all of a sudden, the sound is exactly like it should be. So this Samsung sound bar, I bought this again when I bought this TV, right around the same time that uh, you remember the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One launch. Uh, this got me through a lot of years of gaming, and even though it's older, the sound is still fantastic. You can feel the boom coming from the subwoofer down below. So I'm getting that awesome epic sound maybe don't need it on some games like centipede and robotron but more than 90 games like when i'm playing through buckio here or 1944 you can really hear the sound effects the sound is loud clear and with the extra effects it just sounds fantastic now with this build, there are some limitations. I mean, the Act Games uh, old ecosystem before they launched the 4K can only play so many games. Coin Ops does a lot of cool stuff. Like the guys who put this together did such a good job. So you can play almost anything on this system. Not every game works exactly like it should. There's some Sega games that just don't work, like Jurassic Park has weird screen issues. Also, Golden Axe, uh, Revenge of Death Adder, unfortunately one of my favorite games doesn't work great, and Spider-Man doesn't work great. So there's some that just don't come up, but most do. So I get an amazing selection of classic arcade games, definitely enough to get my fill in right now, even though I, I would like to expand it at some point. And really, that's the question. What do I do next with Megacade? I mean, realistically, it's a TV with a sound system and a Legends Gamer Pro with pedestal stand stuck to it, but honestly, it is filling the need and doing everything that I wanted that the Mega K did. So what's next? Now, I'm looking at options for how I expand the library. Obviously, first up, believe it or not, is another home arcade product from a defunct company now. I'm looking at my iArcade. So I do have an iArcade that I actually picked up for one specific reason, to use the Nix mod, the Mystery Encoder uh, mod with this arcade to basically expand its horizons. So I'm thinking that this might be a perfect fit for Megacade for me to play some of my gun games on with a Sindon Light Gun. This may be an option for that, playing stuff like House of the Dead, very exciting and you know I don't know if it'll be a good fit for playing other arcade games because like you have to play on the iArcade itself but it might be an option for gun games. 
Then, of course, there's also the option to hook my PC up to it. I mean, I have many giant hard drives with hundreds of thousands of games I could play on it, more advanced arcade games, stuff that doesn't currently run on the at games hardware, even with coin ops and all the miracle workers out there doing stuff on the back end. But a little bit of a problem with that, I've never been good at getting the Legends Gamer Pro or any of the at games control panels to work well with my PC. So now, funny enough, I'm turning around and looking at a product that I had dismissed originally, like an asshole, dismissed originally and said, I don't understand what the use would be. But here I am saying, God damn it, I think I need the new X Arcade. Of course, this new X Arcade does come with that already set up pedestal, so it would already rest where I needed to do. It has that X Arcade input or X input that I would need in order to play PC games right. Comes with a trackball, so I can pretty much do everything that I can do with the Legends Gamer Pro with my PC very easily. And you know what? It doesn't look all that bad, and it is adjustable if I want to play from my control chair, like a candy cab, so lots of cool options, and there's so many things I can play on my PC, like the Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection I just picked up, even playing online through Megacade, what an experience that would be. So I know what some of you guys are thinking, like, Mike, you're an idiot, it's just a TV with an arcade control panel set up to it, but man, I'm telling you, think about it. All the main components of what I liked about that Megacade, I'm getting here for a fraction of the cost. I mean, I already had the TV. I already had the soundbar. I already had the Legends Core Max. I already had the Coin Ops build. Of course, that's free anyways, but I already had the Legends Gamer Pro. Already had the pedestal. I am out of pocket. Zero dollars. And I essentially do have all the key elements I liked about the Retrocade build, the Megacade build. Of course, it's not all in one. Of course, I've got to mess around and buy something like an X Arcade if I want to include my PC games or do something to add my gun games. That's all built into their stuff, but I'm doing this on the cheap because I don't have $7,000. And for what I've put into it so far, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm having a bunch of fun. I'm playing a bunch of arcade games that, you know, I would never go out and buy a custom cab for, but I love games like Alien vs. Predator, Bucky O'Hare, all these cool beat-em-up games that you're not going to invest a ton of money in just to play, you know, a couple times when you get in the mood, but now I can do it on a giant screen with an awesome sound system and it feels good. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments down below what do you think of my discount Megacade build. <laughs> is it something you think is cool? Is it something you think is stupid? Let me know. Either way, I'm having a bunch of fun with it. Love playing arcade games on this giant screen. It's just stupid fun. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. This is Michael B. The Game Genie. I'll talk to you next time.